I follow the superintendent for senior citizen housing uh, building for a Jewish owned company called Beth Abraham Hospital in the Bronx, right? And um, he worked for them for like 30 something, 40 years almost. Um, uh, and so he went from like a, being a porter to being a superintendent of one of their buildings. And that's when we moved out of the projects into like this really nice looking building. You know, it's a senior citizen housing building, right? So it's like one of those places that senior citizens live at mm. out of their own, you know, like it's not like it's an assisted living or something like that. It's like, this my, is my uh, own apartment. My grandma lived in one of those buildings. Like they're just nicer, quiet, really old people, nice. house. Yeah, they, yeah, they had like they had this really nice community room in that building that was like it looked like fucking masterpiece theater, yo. All my friends swore that I was rich. Like everybody thought that my father owned the building, right? Like they couldn't understand the concept of superintendent <laughs> for <laughs> for a, a building like that. And so, um, uh, I was living in those type of buildings up until like I left my parents' household when I was a teen. And somewhere in the middle of that, I met a guy who ended up becoming like a good friend of mine. He worked security in the building and um, he just, we just got cool. And uh, he took me to his block and that's where I met Hot Rizzo and Broadway. And these guys kind of like took me under their wing. They were all maybe like anywhere from like, four to like six years older than me you know <clears throat> and um i was kind of like the little homie and they took me under their wing and they really taught me like the you know a through z's of rapping and freestyling and like they they made me they made me freestyle until it was like a reflex like everything that you have been doing on the on the zoom with your friends with the with the ciphers and the freestyling shit like the, everything when you were like really excited and telling me about it like initially i just remember thinking to myself like yo that's literally like when i was like you know uh this kid going coming up around these guys and like we would they would put on like tape like we would have tapes of like music videos and they just put on videotapes and like uh we initially the way that we came up with the name blackout was like we were in a in a apartment that was kind of, that was the trap house literally um and uh we didn't have no lights in there cuz like the rent wasn't paid and the electricity wasn't on so like we literally had no electricity all we had was like a disc man um <clears throat> little fucking kobe speakers that you could connect to the disc man instead of like you know uh headphones and fucking candles and like we would sit there in like uh the dark and really like freestyle our asses off for like hours on end and so um when we did end up having lights right we would have like uh videotapes full of like music videos or whatever was the dope music videos at the time and um the guys would put on the music videos and we'd freestyle or they like they like tell me to freestyle like they'd like really like put me through like boot camp you know like i was really like the 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 soldier out the, the young soldier out the crew like being made to go through boot camp and like they would make me like yo freestyle to this all right start out just freestyling all right now go eight through z's all right now go one through tens all right now we're gonna start throwing words at you all right now you know like uh just random shit that's why like when papoose comes out with like alphabetical slaughter like it's very tacky to me and it's just corny because i'm like what We've been doing this as a freestyle tactic in the streets of New York City for years. This guy who makes a song and he thinks he's, what? I've heard many of my friends freestyle A through Z's better than this song. Like, what? This guy sucks. But, like, I say that really just not to, like, shit on Papoose, but, like, to emphasize how how, how much, um, yeah, really not to shit on Papoose because Papoose, like, I got a lot of respect for him as a man. So I wouldn't shit on his music. Even though I'd never have liked it, um, uh, hilarious. hashtag Black Love. Um, hilarious man. But uh, yeah, nah, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like that's how you learned back then, you know. Like you were asked to like really like, you know, it's the same thing that you like. There were thousands, if not tens of thousands, of MCs that came through EO Dub uh, doors. And learned all those things on that on those stage live in front of people. You know what I mean? Like, 
I just did it live in front of the homies and they were like probably like just as objective as the dub, if not even more critical of me, <laughs> you know, because they were my bros and, you know, like there's like, uh, uh, you know, certain amount of like, uh, what do you call that? Um, where you like pick on just for fun um, or just cause. I know what you're talking about, that brotherly yeah. love shit where you make fun of each other yeah, and yeah. roast each other to death. And it's even more because it's your brother, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know yeah. what you mean. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> yeah. So, Yo, Bon Bon, thank you. I just saw the comment. My fault. I haven't been looking at the... You at have the, the best background. Thank you. Being... And... and and The wonderful my glasses, pink glasses, which is very cool. They're purple. They're purple. They're purple. That's fresh. Everything's, everything is purple. Mm-hmm.